still there, Chief. Big as life. Uh, I don't like this. Pat. No change, Skipper. Any more word about it from the flagship, sir? It's refused all recognition signals. Well, I guess we'll have to classify it as an unidentified flying object. There's no doubt about it. The whole fleet standing at general quarters. Looks like we're in for real trouble, huh, sir? understand is why are we looking for a flying saucer in the bottom of the sea? Because it was last seen diving under the ocean in this area. Shot down, sir? We don't know. Could have been disabled or could have been heading for some secret base. Nelson to see you. We've got a reaction on the scanner, possibly from the UFO. I'm submerging for a closer reading. Very well, sir. We're standing by. Good luck. Yes, sir, only it's stronger. Bearing 0240 degrees relative. Are you still in contact? Yes, the Admiral might be onto something. Uh, is this patch into the flying south? Yes, sir. Admiral, this is Crane. What do you read? I'm getting a definite radiation reading from the bottom, the same place where the UFO was last sighted. Can you pinpoint the exact location? Oh, Kowalski? No, sir. But we're getting closer all the time. Not yet, but we'll be able to shortly. Uh, very well. Now, the minute you have a positive fix, let me know. Then hightail it back here as fast as you can. Yeah, I agree. Stand by. You think he's found something? It looks that way. The attack came from a secret base, and our observation satellites confirm it wasn't on land. Well, there's an awful lot of ocean out there to search. Yes, but the... Uh... The base has to send out a certain amount of radiation. That's what Kowalski's picking up, isn't it? No, don't worry, Chip. We're closing in on them. We'll find those flying saucers. Admiral, the signal's getting stronger. Yes, sir, it's right on this heading. Well, we found it. Give me a range estimate, and I'll report back to CPO. Aye, sir. Estimated range. signals? No, sir, it's gone dead. Lost all power. Sir, that fire. Yeah, I see it. It's coming towards us, sir.
CV to FS1. CV to FS1. Come in. What's wrong with you? Acknowledge. What's happened to this connection? I'm not getting any response. Our contact's broken, Skipper. I can't raise the flying sub. Very well. Keep trying. Hi, sir. Patterson, what's your fix in the flying sub? We lost it, Mr. Morton. No contact. What are you talking about? The flying sub's out there, physically out there. You have to receive an echo from it. I'm sorry, sir. No sonar contact. Chip, do you have a fix on that last position? I've got a mark right here in the chart. Take us there at flank. All right, sir. I'll head flank. <laughs> What's wrong with sonar? I just checked it out myself, sir. There's not a thing wrong. Look at that profile. Well, why don't we have any contact with the flying sub? Well, sir, there's just one explanation for that. It just isn't there anymore. Carry on. There's no malfunction with sonar. Well, something's happened to the flying sub, but what? Those flying saucers. You can bet on it. Now we're starting to rise. Damage control report. Frames H and J warp by heat. Main generators two and three inoperable. Now what's the estimated time for repair? Three to four hours, sir. If we can jury rig main circuit breakers. All right, hop to it on the double. Hi, sir. Chief. Sir? Get down to the circuitry room, give him a hand. Aye, sir. Sir? Yes? If we can't maneuver, how are we going to look for Kowalski and the Admiral? We can't. Answer your question. Aye, sir. We were trying to make repairs. And that wall of flame hit us. And then what? That's all I remember. That's all I remember, too. Where are we? In good hands, gentlemen. 
Don't be confused, gentlemen. You are in a degravitized cell. Who is to say whether I am upside down or you are? However, the question can easily be settled by restoring gravity with this. What kind of a madhouse is this? Well, you're prisoners, I suppose. Temporarily, at least. However, I may very well decide to kill you both. Why, you... <laughs> Satisfied, sir? Don't sell me. I'm a chief. I'm sorry. I still have much to learn about your custom. Okay. Hand it over. Hand over what, chief? Y your wallet. I don't know where you're hiding it, but you got to have one. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Where do you keep your money, your, your, your papers, your ID? I seem to possess none of those things. You mean to tell me that you stowed away with no money, no nothing? I'm afraid that is the case. I hope you're ready to believe my story now. I got it. Fingerprints. I do not understand. Ah, oh, you will, Buster. Fingerprints are one thing you can't fake. Come on, the MAA will take a nice, fresh set of them for you. Come on. Mr. Morton, the wiring detail reports their repairs will be completed within another 30 minutes. All right. How are we doing? Rewiring will be completed in less than 30 minutes. What about the hull? Well, engineering says its reinforcement shoring will be in place in less than that. Strong enough to dive? As long as we stay above crushed up. Skipper? Sir, we caught ourselves a stowaway. Stowaway? It's impossible we checked the range of this ship before we sailed. Yes, sir, I know, but uh, here he is. What's your name? I'm called Robeck. How did you get aboard? That is unimportant. I'm here to help you. It's about the attack on your fleet. What do you know about this? I know the base from which it was launched. I can lead you there. It is where your admiral is being held. What do you know about our admiral? Well, I've just come from there. He had another man with him, an ordinary seaman. Where is this place? How far is it? Less than 20 miles. There's no land within 100 miles of here. But there is, sir. A large attack base from which can be launched alien spaceships of war. How do you know this? I have just come from there. I am one of the aliens. Within 12 hours, we are going to destroy your Earth. you experienced not enough gravity and not too much. I wonder which you prefer. What I want to know is... Spare me the questions. I'm interested only in answers. You brought your vessel dangerously close to our base. Why? We weren't near any base. We were out in the middle of the ocean. What were you looking for and what did you find? Nothing. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How much do the men of your crew know? I, I can't answer your questions. Very well, Admiral. I can be patient. 
just a little longer. should hold as long as we don't dive too deep. Sir, I've uh, just finished checking out that stowaway, Robeck. Yes. Couldn't find a thing. No passport, no ID, no papers, nothing. I've locked him in the brig pending your orders. Why don't we radio his fingerprints to Washington? They might have something on him. That's a good idea, Chip. Have you taken his fingerprints? No, sir. Well, you better do it right now. Sir, I can't. Why not? Well, the fact is... Neither one of you is going to believe this, but the fact is he hasn't got any fingerprints. Leave him where he is. Right now we've got to find the Admiral and that secret underwater base. If it's really there. to be reasonable because you have about run out of chances. I want an answer, Admiral. Now, see here, you haven't died on me, have you? I'm not ready for you to die yet. them out so they could get in there and start that fire. Somebody who? There's only one stranger aboard the ship, Robeck. Now, he's in the brig. Is he? Has anybody checked? Yes, sir. He's gone.
He's in this area, someplace. He must be taken at all costs. Follow me. obvious. Robeck intends to destroy us if he can. Well, there's just one thing, sir. If there's any chance that the Admiral is still alive, we just can't ignore it. The ship's being searched. We'll find him. You can call off your search. All right, Mr. One Step, and you've had it. Captain, I must talk to you. Let him in, Chief, and close the door. Thank you. What's your explanation? Captain, you're misjudging me. I did not try to sabotage your ship. It isn't hard to narrow down a list of suspects. You're the only one. Not quite. May I speak freely in front of these men? Can they be trusted? Completely. First, you must understand that you are aliens to me. Before I could trust you, I had to make an evaluation. What kind of an evaluation? Will determine for myself whether you were worthy of saving or should be destroyed like some noxious weeds. Not just weeds. So, with your permission, I'll climb. All right, all right, Chief. Hold it, will you? So, you decided we should be destroyed. And uh, you just sabotaged the circuitry room, is that right? To the contrary. My telepathic scanning of your minds convinced me you were essentially people of peace. Indeed, worthy of help. It's mighty nice of you. I just reached this conclusion when I heard the fire alarm. I then released myself from your brig to do what I could to save your ship and your world. Do you really expect us to believe all that? Well, not without proof, no. However, I can furnish that by showing you I had nothing to do with the sabotage. All right. How? All right, Captain, tell me. What is the most vital area on your ship? On a submarine, all areas are vital. No, I understand, but the most vital. An area which, if destroyed, would kill all of us instantly. The reactor room. Exactly. Well, I propose that you set a trap there secretly. Undoubtedly, that's where they will strike next. Chief, I want you to assign at least three men to keep Mr. Robeck in custody day and night. I don't want him out of their sight for a split second. Hi, right, Robeck. Lay some plans to catch a saboteur. Chief, I can't remember. I just can't remember anything. But you must know where you and the Admiral were all this time. No. You remember how you got aboard Seaview, don't you? Come on, Ski, think. Oh, it's no use, Chief. I, I can't. Now, look, kid, you... That's enough for now, Chief. But, Doc, I can make him remember. I just know I can't. Not now. An extraordinary case. His mind seems to be completely blocked. I tried everything, even hypnosis. Nothing works. Naturally not. 
I suppose you've already made your diagnosis. It's a mind drug, of course. Our people gave it to him and then brought him aboard to commit the sabotage. If it does not last, he will soon be well. You now have the proof of which I spoke. It is time for us to make some specific plans to save your world. Let's talk about it in my cabin. <laughs> Go. The secret base has been established and ready. It only awaited the day for the Supreme Command to issue the attack order. And this is the day? Yes. The destruction of your fleet was our test attack. Full-scale war will take place within hours. If you're one of them, why did you come aboard Sevio? Why are you telling me all this? There are many of us in our galaxy who believe the only road to follow is that of peace. I am one of them. With your help, I believe we can prevent this attack from taking place. Why should I believe you? Well, you've already seen what our forces can accomplish. You can sit back and wait for your world to end, or you can work with me. You have no other choice, Captain. All right, Robeck. We work together. Good. Now, the base is here cannot be attacked in the usual way. Its defenses are literally impregnable. Go on. We must get inside without being detected. Then I can lead you to the vulnerable spots. And the last time we were in that area, we ran into some sort of wall of flame. It nearly destroyed us. An outer perimeter defense. A simple enough device, but it does present a problem. Skipper, we've detected a metallic object in the bottom about 500 yards dead ahead. Maybe I'm off my rocker, but it profiles exactly like our flying sub. If that is indeed your flying submarine, we may be able to solve the firewall. Chip, be right there. Go on with the drawing. Aye, sir. <laughs> This whole area surrounded. You can't escape. Now, there's the contour. What do you think? 
We're close enough to the long-range camera. Let's try it. Well, that's it. Abandoned. Hmm. Doesn't look damaged at all. Chip, I'm going down there with Robeck. Have the scuba gear ready. Aye, aye, sir. Well? Still very irregular, sir. About 92 now. Bring his chart up to date. Yes, sir. I'm going to give him another injection. 10 cc's this time. I can order that. Yes, sir. Fortunately, Robeck has a heavy hand with a pen. Left deep marks in the pad here. Yes, but did he finish it? No, not quite. This shows a way in. But he was going to tell me where to go and what to do once we got there. You mean there's actually a base hidden inside that ledge? Let's find out. Now listen carefully, Chip. If the flying sub's operable, we'll try to reach the base. Now once we get started, we'll probably lose radio contact. Then what can Seaview do to help? Just wait here. Don't move. We may have to find you in a hurry. We won't budge. All right, Chief. Let's go. Come on.
good. Let's get out of these things and get started. Chip, we've checked out the Flying 7. It's in good shape. The mission's on. From here on out, it's radio silence. All right, sir. Good luck. drawings, we only have to leapfrog the fire. All right, hang on, we're going down. Look, there's the ridge. And there's the crevice, right where Robeck marked it. That little opening? Can we fit through there? No. We'll try. The surface. Not quiet. Look at your depth gauge. We're a good hundred feet below sea level. Yeah, that's uh, that's air up there, isn't it? Let's find out. Elaborately controlled environment. I don't get it. I'm not sure I do either. But I am convinced that there is a complex of some kind down here. Come on. Someone's coming. Someone or something. Admiral. Go back. How you can. so I can't find any injuries. Here, come on, help me with him. Oh, uh, wait a second, Skipper. What? Which way do we carry him? I'm a, I'm a little turned around. Well, now that you mention it, so am I. I'll see if I can get our bearings. Great day in the morning. Robeck was telling the truth. Then you see it too. It's, it's really there. It is indeed, gentlemen. And you'll actually see it from within, as my prisoners. Ski? Ski? Can you hear me at all? You don't have to answer, just... Just nod your head. Oh, I wouldn't be too alarmed. He's in a deep sleep. Best thing in the world for him right now. 
Will he be okay, Doc? Eventually. Are you certain Robic's dead, sir? I've never seen anybody any deader. I just got through a complete examination of the body. Have a look yourself, if you still have your doubts. Uh, no thanks, Doc. I'll, uh, I'll take your word for it. Doc? There's nobody there. Of course there's a... Mr. Morton, can I talk to you alone for a minute? What about? It's about, uh, Robic, sir. Robic is dead. Now I've got my hands full with the living. Please, sir, I've got to report this. What is it? Well, sir, I went down a sick bay to check on Kowalski. Well, come to the point. Robic's body. It's gone. Gone? Yes, sir. Doc didn't report it over the intercom. Didn't think he wanted to worry the men just now. Well, what happened to the body? We don't know, sir. Doc has a couple of corpsmen making a search, but there's no sign of it anywhere. All right. Tell them to keep searching. I've got to concentrate on finding the flying sub. Unless we hear from the skipper pretty soon, we've got to take some drastic steps. Aye, sir. Well, I, I've seen a lot of defense installations in my time, but uh, by all odds, this is the best. Naturally. Our defense system is quite literally impregnable. And your attack potential? Unlimited. As you must have realized when a single spacecraft wiped out one of your entire fleets. Mm -hmm. Why are you showing me all this? To show you the futility of further resistance, Admiral. Your government has tracked your submarine and learned the general location of our base. It has ordered an attack against us. An attack? Precisely. Consider your situation, Admiral. If your government goes through with the attack, your submarine will be sunk, while this base will remain unharmed. We will, of course, retaliate and destroy every major city on your planet. And if the attack is called off? Your government must realize the hopelessness of its situation and surrender unconditionally. You actually expect me to uh, contact Washington and issue this ultimatum? <laughs> you have ten minutes to make your decision, Admiral. on sea view. I saw it. I was shot, yes. For you, the wound would have been fatal. But our physiology is different. My body has absorbed and dissolved the bullet by now. How did you find us? I knew right where you'd be. When I regained my sense, I got out through your escape hatch, as I had originally come aboard. Where's your admiral? We can't find him. But we'll find him. Follow me. Fast. They must be ours. They're probably going to attack the base. 
But the skipper and the chief are out there somewhere. We're in the target area ourselves. What are you going to do, Mr. Morton? It isn't time to do anything, Patterson. Just hold on and pray. He saved our lives. What are you doing? Reprogramming. You were setting them to explode within the complex. Stop them from blowing up the world. Get out of here while you can. They will be ready to take off at any moment. Uh, that should do it. Now how do we get out? This way. Take. One more attack, I'll do it. They're almost on us. Which way? That way. I just got a report from sick bay on Kowalski. How is it? The doctor said he'll make a complete recovery. Good. Oh, where's the Admiral? He'll want to know. The Admiral is in his cabin talking to Washington right now. He's making a report on how the alien complex was destroyed by its own flying saucer. I wonder how much he'll tell them. Well, uh, I don't know, sir, but I hope it won't be the whole truth. I mean, who would believe it? <laughs> Very well, you can. I said. Thank mm -hmm. you. 